besties. We're going thrifting. But I'm on a book buying band still, but I still want to peek around, especially look at the clothes. But of course, I can't help it and not look at the books, especially at this one because they always pop off with the books. I definitely want to bring y'all along, so come thrifting with me and check out the book section. Hey everyone, it's voiceover me. I'm so excited to be back. And right when I got to this thrift store, I literally scored. I found Emily Henry, People We Meet on Vacation. And if I didn't already have this book, I would totally buy it. But I already had it, so I left it for someone who would enjoy it so much more than me for $2.99, I believe it was. I didn't check, but definitely under five bucks, which is a total score. So I definitely was just peeking around. I kind of stopped doing my system where I go through every single aisle because I felt like that was so time consuming and I only do that when I'm like really looking for books but if I'm casually thrifting then I am definitely like judging the spine and definitely judging what is the most colorful especially like Sophie Kinsla which I have never read before but her books are always so bright so she always grabs my attention but just kind of browsing and I kind of like doing these like overviews because I always like look back and see like oh I missed that book but since I'm on a book buying ban I don't feel like that regretful because I'm kind of like oh someone else definitely enjoyed it more than me because I didn't catch it so it wasn't meant to be. I don't know if that's like me convincing myself but definitely something in there. I really wanted to talk about this section though because there are a bunch of like Sylvia Day books which is like the Bear to You series but there's a lot of SC Steffen books like the one I'm pulling out right now and I think I read one book by this author and it was like effortless or something and it's definitely like old school steamy romance type of vibe and it really plays into like certain tropes but I was just surprised to see it there because like my high school self definitely would have bought that. So I kind of got bored of the adult section, went to the YA section, and of course I scored another book. This one has been on my TBR. I actually passed on this one which I'm a little sad about. I kind of regret because one, it's in paperback and the hardback cover is a different color and the paperback one is this beautiful blue color which I don't think I've ever seen before so I'm like is it limited edition can I never get that again so I'm a little bummed out but that one has been on my TBR for a bit but I was really strict on myself and reading like all the books I currently have just to like narrow it down a little bit because I have too many books on my TBR but the YA section was a little interesting to say the least Okay, so this is like someone's putback pile in the YA section, which shouldn't belong here because there's some like adult books in here that really, I don't want any kids to like stumble upon. I pulled out this Hunger Game books, which I've never seen before. Obviously, I've seen the Hunger Games, but is this limited edition? Because this cover was very minimalistic. And then I just glance at the mass paperback. I never ever look at it. I saw this skirt. Don't know if I should get it, but I wanted to show you this clip of how aggressive I am. I don't ever mean to be this aggressive, but I just realized how I am from watching this back. So I'm definitely going to be a lot more gentle looking at clothes. <laughs> Right off the bat, I see three books of the same like exact book, so some bookstore definitely was getting rid of their inventory. I found this book that I thought was really interesting, Finding Yvonne. I almost got it actually because it looked really interesting, but then I saw the sticker, the little fiction sticker in the back, and I feel like I've seen that sticker at like Dollar Tree books, so I just had my fingers crossed that I could find it at Dollar Tree. And then I saw this series, which I thought was this series, the, the Dark King that I've seen at Target, but it was not, so I was wrong. Any Hannah Brown fans, any Bachelorette fans, I don't watch The Bachelor, don't watch The Bachelorette, but I did see Peter's season. That was the only season I watched because I was in college and all my friends watched it, and it was entertaining to say the least. 
this book looked really cute. I don't think I would read it, so I just wanted to show y'all. But of course, every single thrift will have the Catching Fire, Mockingjay, the Hunger Games series in some set. I also think Girl Wash Your Hair is now becoming my thrift store like classic where I will always find it. And this is another example because I walk to a different shelf and I find it again. And I'm only saying that because I'm starting to see it more of course, but I started to see this book at TJ Maxx. Why am I seeing self-help books at TJ Maxx? Isn't that a little strange? I was very disappointed in this thrift store specifically this day because this thrift store always hits for me, especially in the book section. It never misses and this day it specifically did. And this is like the new shelf aisle where like they're about to stock these books and I didn't even find anything remotely interesting. So there was like a Hannah or a Christian Hannah book, which I've heard about, but I've seen this at the thrift store multiple times. So it was nothing interesting. And then I saw this new like self-help book and I thought that was really interesting and it was like brand new until like, look, all the pages are blank everything was so cool and then like the first page is written on but I think the person who used it like knew they weren't going to use it so they erased what they wrote and I think that's really sustainable like they tried to take it off I was just really disappointed in this thrift because it usually does better it is the next day and I literally forgot to vlog at the first thrift store that I went to and I'm so sorry I feel so bad but I went to my library book sale and I literally, it slipped my mind. The show must go on. So I'm at another thrift store. I'm at another Goodwill and I'm going to show you the selection now because I remember to vlog. Let's check out what this thrift store has. And you can see all the cars go by. Now we are at another thrift store on another day, hoping for some better luck. I feel like thrift stores to me are, well, obviously every single thrift store is going to be hit or miss, so I don't know what I'm saying. But I feel this thing where if I get really lucky at a specific thrift store, I have to not go to it for like months because I had like maximized my luck at that thrift store. I don't know if anyone feels a certain way or like a similar way, but that's definitely how I feel. But let's get back to the books. So I'm not following my very like dramatic system. I'm just going to whatever spine looks the most interesting. So I'm just pulling books based on the color and the author and whatever just looks interesting to be honest with you. I did start to find more after books and like in this series. So if you read this, let me know your thoughts because I've read three books in this series. I think it's very very teen cliche it's very dramatic very wattpad well i think it came from wattpad but i just think it's really funny to read it's entertaining to say the least but i want to hear everyone's thoughts on it i did find um i think it was called one day in december which i actually found at my local library book sale for 50 cents so i think i scored a better deal but i found honey girl which I also found at my local library for 50 cents. And I found both of them here for $2.99, which is an amazing deal, but I just like was so happy I got a better deal. So I put them together just in case anyone wanted to twin with me, even though I'm sure nobody knew me at this thrift store and was like, girl, what are you doing? Why are you rearranging the shelf? Which I don't, now that I see it, I'm like, maybe I'm actually doing the employees a disservice, but it's Goodwill, so I don't really think they have a system. Also, I just want to say this thrift store had majority of the books upside down. Like this one where I had to flip it. Well, I wasn't flipping it to like be nice or anything. Like, I mean, <laughs> I was just flipping it just to flip it. But here's another after book. And as you can see here, here's another book that was upside down. I genuinely don't know what was going on. I feel like people either, people were just pulling books out and just shoving them back in upside down after looking at the back and they're like, I'm not interested anymore. But a lot of these books were upside down. So I just thought that was really interesting.
When I do these thrift videos, I tend to go pretty fast and I sometimes might miss a book, but I love when people comment like, oh, you missed this, oh, you didn't pull this out. Please let me know if I missed something because I love to rewatch and be like, oh, I totally did miss that. So please call me out if I miss a book that was like your favorite book or something. I love to catch myself like missing a good opportunity. I don't know if that's like self-sabotage, but please tell me if I ever miss a good book at the thrift because I want to rewatch it and see when I miss it. This cover was actually stunning. I thought it was so pretty and I've just never seen a book like this. I actually didn't read the back because I don't know, the cover was just pretty but the title didn't look interesting. And then I found People We Meet on Vacation again. People are donating this book. And then I found Jasmine Guillory, which I've heard so many people talk about this author on Book Talk, like amazing thing where she writes amazing romances, great smut. So I'm really intrigued to see. I don't know what happened. I put my camera in slow-mo, but I caught it and I turned it off. So another Sophie Kinsla book, which I don't know if I'm ever going to read Sophie Kinsla, but a lot of people say they love this author from like high school or like in their high school age so I think I'm a little past that but their covers are amazing I was showing my feet because I got so tired, but look, there is this like Outlander, I don't know, merch or like special souvenir and they put so many books on decor that I had to check out. Someone donated their entire like book of the month collection, so they had a bunch of stuff there. I of course then had to move to check out the YA section. I found the selection, which I already have, but I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews about, which I want to read because it's like a YA classic. So there's another of this Hunger Games series of this really minimalistic like cover and I want to know if it's like special because I found the Hunger Games version, the Catching Fire version, and I think somewhere in the video I showed the Mockingjay version so let me know if it's special. I found some interesting book talk books in there. I saw People We Meet on Vacation and what was the other one? I can't remember, but I, I'll probably remember when I'm editing. Interesting selection though. I had a lot of fun browsing. I just love looking at books in general, so that was a lot of fun, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this mini book thrifting vlog. I always love doing these and these are like really fun to do. I just love looking at books. I also love thrifting and I love including like these little thrift clips in there. So let me know if you want more of those and let me know if you want more thrift videos. Check out the description for more of my socials and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Someone's walking by. <laughs> Two more people are walking by. It's so awkward. Okay, anyways, people are literally staring, but we, just we, <laughs> we are here. <laughs>